This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. Oh, this is a long one here, guys. Has made good on his promise, my king. Guys. His fires have melted the snows away. I just remembered where we were now. Oh no. The way ahead is clear. You're right for Winterfell. And you will take it. You will receive what is yours by right. Yeah, and all it took was your daughter, bro. Tell me. The men. Many deserted before dawn. I would expect that. Good. Great. See, those were semi good men, all right? But they did sit there and watch that absolute circus occur, okay? They did. They sat there. They could, have, they could have done something instead of just walking away. Like, at the time where you were needed the most, you turned your back and walk, walked away, bro. At the time they were needed the most, they were nowhere. Then come morning, they leave. That's pure cowardice, guys. Absolutely. Okay, that's a weird one. Didn't think she liked her daughter very much. But I'm I'm happy this happened eventually, though. The Lady Melisandre was just seen riding out of camp. <laughs> right. So what was all of that about, guys? Guys. He raised his hand. So many questions. And they all stood up at once. I saw him shatter steel axes like they were glass, but long claw. Is Valyrian steel? How many Valyrian mm -hmm. steel swords are left in the Seven Kingdoms? None. Um, I think Joffrey's, unless, it's, unless something happened to it. Ned Stark's sword was, I think, right? No. Yeah. These godries are beautiful. What? If you leave, who's left to give me advice I trust? Well, his head. I'd be more used to you as a maester. More used to everyone now Maester Eamon's gone. Which means that the last thing I'll see in this world will be the look in her eyes when I fail them. Well. Wow. You know what the Citadel will make you swear off women too. Oh, they'll bloody try. <laughs> so. Right. What? Right. So, John, you too, bro. Don't, don't, don't look at Sam like he's crazy. To death, how did you? Very right. carefully. Right. Right. I'll come back. It's a healthy friendship, guys. Super healthy. Do you return? Because I think as we're progressing, it's definitely starting to look better and better as a show. In terms of like, uh, kind of everything, coloring mainly. Somewhat overusing the teal and orange like color scheme, but it looks good, guys. Hopefully, we're coming up to the end of uh, of Stannis, but keep in mind, I not for the Boltons neither. So we haven't seen you in a while, sir. Okay. You're just gonna, I mean, you've been watching this thing and now she's gonna go and light it and you're not gonna see it. Oh no. But it doesn't matter, she's going anyway. By the looks of it, at least. Like they didn't see you coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also not sure you could actually see that small candlelight from that distance, now that I'm thinking about it. Some of them are running away, guys, in the back. Just show me Stannis' body laying on the ground, guys. I'll be I'll be fine with that. Hmm. Guess he wasn't king for nothing, right? I don't fight for the Boltons. Oh. I'm Brienne of Tarth. Okay. I was Kingsguard to Renly Baratheon. 
Right. You're done now, bro. I was there when he was by a shadow with your face. <laughs> that was not what she was expecting, but hey, listen, she got her uh, her due. Looks like we're done here. That was a good end for Stennis. And I accept your surrender. <clears throat> oh, he's just such a bad person. Despicable by nature. She's probably not even there, bro. My lady, I've come to escort you back to your chamber. But with her, please. Until you've given him a boy or two and he's finished using them. <laughs> right. Okay, Theon. Oh, this is not ending well. I kind of respect it a little bit. Bro. How deep is the snow? Um, I don't think you're gonna get up like walking from that. I'm like oddly proud of Thea right now, guys. Oddly. Oh, we're in brothers. I can see I have my work cut out for me. You two, out. Okay. This guy is trash, guys. Filth. Bolton level. Like, here, here's the thing, guys. So absolutely, there are people who like this type of thing. Uh, they do, right? But I don't think that you would probably ever involve a child with this. And the fact that he specifically just wants children and this. You want to harm children just on purpose? Just because, guys? You know, that's just, you know. Are you? Of course. You're the first person on my list, you know. Oh, you're right, Arya. Okay, Arya. Listen, listen. You know, of course, respect Arya or 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 be deleted. Basically, I like it. Like, I love her entire story. It's it's extremely intriguing. She's much better than Sansa, personally. Uh, no? Bro, you cannot take the best character to show away from the show, bro. What? Don't die! What? <laughs> he was my friend. No, he wasn't. Didn't you listen to him? He was no one. What in the magicness? How is her face here when she's alive and her face wasn't removed? Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. I, you're asking me? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm confused. Uh, I'm not even going to try to attempt to understand what's going on right now, bro. Nope. Okay. You want a good girl, but you need a bad. Oh, I mean. Whenever you're ready, oh, my lord. Okay. But I'm glad you're coming home. Your mother's desperate to see you. I'm glad Tristane's coming with us. He seems like a nice boy. Do you think mother will like him? If she sees you're happy, I'm sure she will. <laughs> she doesn't like anyone. Do right. She likes you. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Right. Listen, well, she likes you a whole lot, JB. It was an accident, really. I mean, what were the chances? It was you set up. to fall in love with the man you were assigned to marry? Uh, you did it at, like, the perfect age for both of these uh, children. Um, and then you told them that they were to be married. So, of course, they became invested. My point is, it's beyond our control. I sound like an idiot. No, you don't. You sound like Jamie. Trying, and trying to, to make excuses for why, out of all the women in the world, you chose your sister. I know what we're trying to say. No. No, you don't. I do. About you and mother.
Oh my. Everyone is just pretending because they're just pretending like they actually are where they are. They're not. Hmm? Poison, maybe? I'm guessing. Um, if you remember those three, the, the women that were in the jail cell, they had like some type of toxin. They were obviously really good with uh, uh, poisons. Uh, I'm guessing that that kiss probably was the, the, the last kiss that she'll ever receive in life, guys, most likely. Uh, just wait, because you, you let the boy go with her, right? We always want the wrong woman. Does he always talk so much? Yep. Our queen ordered him exiled from city. Our queen would be if not for him. Sadreji. You're a Lannister. The queen intends to remove your family from power. And I intend to help her do it. You've been here for how many days now? Since she was little more than a child. You betrayed her. Careful now. And Not real. I mean, he did, you but twice, didn't. I believe. Not precisely, but I have other skills that would be very useful. Can you fight? I have fought. You would help us here in Marine, though. Okay, you None right. of experience governing a city, except for him. He is. He's the toughest man with no b****s I ever met. Oh, that's disrespectful. Down. That's disrespectful. People believe in you. If you leave, half this city will consume the other half. Exactly. Emma Sande, the Queen's closest confidant, commander of the Unsullied, and a foreign dwarf with a scarred face. Yeah, this is the most logical of it all, guys. Absolutely. They'll they'll trust Tyrion if Grey Worm is backing them up, guys. Hello, old friend. Varus? I thought we were so happy together until you abandoned me. I suppose there's no point how? in how you found any advice for an old comrade? Information is the key. You need to learn your enemy's strengths and strategies. You need to learn which of your friends are not your friends. If only I knew hmm. someone with a vast network of spies. If only. Who could possibly have any experience managing such a massive, ungainly beast? <laughs> I did miss you. Right. It's funny though oh, because like God. it took me a while to kind of warm up to to Varus and his style of uh, of gameplay, let's say, right? Um but I definitely like him as a character now. Um uh, fully, just fully I I kind of trust him to a certain extent. I would say I'm like 85% there, but I think that's kind of overall how I feel about the majority of the characters. Um, except for basically anyone with the Lannister name. Um, I trust Tyrion, though, almost 100%. I, I see him as being easily one of the better characters. You know, him, Arya, uh, Brienne. Like, if I was to play the game, I'd play as one of them exclusively. How far did you carry me? <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely not a taxi. All right, injured, just wants to relax and lick its wounds. The dragon brought her to the place where it feels safe. It's an, its nest, in a sense. Food, right there. Like, how long was she missing for so far, guys? Because her outfit is extremely dirty, guys. A horse. Dothraki? Well, um... Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. If it was that many... If that, if, guys, no. If it was this many horses behind her, she would have seen that. Like, 100% seen that. They wouldn't have been able to hide that, that well, guys. Mainly this part right here. That This would have been obvious. You purposely walked yourself into a trap of sorts. And your dragon can't come and help you because it's wounded. What is this? Cersei? Confess. I have sinned. I see that now. I want to be clean again. Your grace will be dealt with according to her sins. His sins do not pardon your own. I mean... May the gods forgive me. 
generally done, right? But other men, you understand this? I do. You did this to yourself. Let's start right those here. Those say your children were not fathered by King Robert. They weren't. They others you have denied. Your trial will separate the truths from the falsehoods. What will the trial I consist of? To the wisdom of your high holiness. Thank you. Mother is merciful. It is her you should thank. I will. I will. Uh, don't do that. I swear it day or night. Don't do that. If <laughs> Good. After your atonement. Atonement? My atonement. Okay. What does it involve? Okay. They just don't care. <laughs> bro, I dare someone to go outside like that, bro. They should honestly all be frightened, though, right? So after the, this atonement, she's going to be back in the Red Keep. Do, you, do, you understand, do they fully understand what that means? She's going to start deleting all of them. Like one by one, there's no doubt by releasing her to the Red Keep after this atonement. Is this the atonement? Her sitting naked with no, no clothes on and, uh, and no hair? Yes. With a terrible haircut? Layers all wrong. Yeah, the haircut is not it. Okay. A sinner comes before you, Cersei of House Lannister, and present herself as the gods made her. Okay. To you, okay, the good people of the city, what? to make her walk of atonement. Okay, a walk of atonement. Okay, let's go. Shame, 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 hmm. shame, shame, shame. Bro, I don't think this is bad enough, guys. Shame. To like make up for like Cersei's shame. just existence. Shame. The funny thing is, is that she doesn't really think that those people out that are around her are even people. So imagine living in a world of, of Cersei's head, where you're just absolutely terrible person that honestly cares nothing about the people that surround her at all, right? So all of these people that are saying all of these things are like basically ants yelling. Do you really care what the ant is saying? Not really. Because you're going to go live your miserable life while she lives in the castle. While you're saying all of these things to this person that, again, lives in the castle and you are struggling to eat. Now, that's the mentality that I, I, I believe that Cersei has. Does it even matter? Like, what, what, is this really even punishment? Oh, they all get to see her naked? Oh, okay. They can't touch her, right? You understand what I'm saying? They, they're, she's being protected by the people around her. So what really, what type of punishment is this, guys? She has to walk naked home while, while someone that is that is meaningless, be, that is behind her saying shame and a bell? And people that are around her that are equally meaningless to her, right, uh, are calling her all types of words? Bro, meh, this isn't enough. Brother, oh my God. <laughs> like words mean nothing from the meaningless. Bro, what did they rub on her? <laughs> That's nasty. What is sitting on her shoulder right now? <laughs> What's the matter, Cersei? The physical stuff is what's affecting her more so than these meaningless people that are around her. Mm. Like, there's nothing better than a Cersei crying scene, guys. She's only crying because now she's like, oh, I'm, I'm back into safety. And she's, these, these are tears of joy of her being able to run in and start telling everyone to delete everyone that's standing outside. It's good to have you back. Come. We'll take you inside. Ugh. What? If they're gonna live in the Seven Kingdoms, safe behind our wall, they ought to fight for the damn place. It's not their fight. Oh, Stannis is done, bro. He's gone. Shooting. 
The princess. Bro. Trust me, if he was there, none of that craziness would have happened. Lord Commander. It's one of the wildlings you brought back. Says he knows your Uncle Benjamin. Says he's still alive. Haven't heard that name I think since uh, season one. Traitor. For the watch. For the watch. What? That's crazy, guys. I hope nothing good comes to you guys. All right. Something interesting about Jon Snow. I loved. I like Jon Snow as an overall character. It reminds me a lot of uh, of Ned Stark. Like the same qualities. Matter of fact, let's let's let this finish up. Ooh, that's a rough one here. Um, I like Jon Snow because he shares the same qualities for the most part as his father. He, for all the reasons I liked Ned Stark and pretty much disliked everyone else, is because Ned Stark kind of delivered like honor, like in a really good way. Um, maybe he was a little too trusting. I'll give you that one. Uh, Jon Snow kind of fixed that. Jon Snow was a better Ned Stark than Ned Stark was Ned Stark, okay? Um, so that's a super interesting thing for me. I definitely am going to miss his character, you know. Um, I'm definitely not going to miss Stannis. I'm glad Stannis is gone. I don't know why the Red Woman went running back, but I guess she instantly realized that it was going to—it was a loss. It almost feels like she set that up, guys. Because uh, if she can tell the future, what what did she think was going to come from having the Stannis delete his daughter? Like, what was going to happen? Like you almost kind of knew that the that the real men that were around that situation were not going to just put up with that, guys. They all left and were just like, "No, nah, we're done with Stannis." Guys, I'm definitely glad also that um, Brianna Tarth uh, was the one to kind of like uh, finalize the life of Stannis. That's a good one. Um, also, super interesting that um, Reek kind of ended up turning into Theon and, and saving Sansa from all that craziness, right? Obviously, Arya. Okay, Arya, Arya, Arya. Guys, just listen, favorite character. I love how she is like literally going down this list of the people who have harmed her family. But I get it. You know, people will point out in the comments occasionally that uh, I am I am contradicting myself. How do you like Arya but not like Cersei? I don't like Cersei. Cersei's trash to me, guys. Like, there's no redeeming qualities about her at all. I see Arya as a young woman who is, uh, I'm saying a young woman in real life. I get that they're trying to, that she's like probably like in the movie, like in the show itself, she's probably like nine. But I'm sorry, in real life, she's probably like 18, 20 by now. That's by the looks of it, at least, right? I see her as a, a young person, let's say, uh, and she's just trying to you know, get her family back, kind of. But the way she's going about it is absolutely great to, to view, at least, right? Um, but all right, listen, if you guys are on Patreon, um, we're going to be jumping into the next one right now. And um, if you guys are on YouTube, guys, join Patreon. We are generally three episodes ahead on Patreon. Pretty much at any time of the month, we're about three episodes ahead. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.